Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this All Blacks career mode. We are in the semi-finals and our opponents are the Wallabies. This is a huge game. And for this game, we're going to have to play very well. We had a few handling errors against Scotland, but we were able to win that game 28-0. But I have a feeling if we have that many handling errors against the Wallabies, they will certainly punish us. But whoever wins this game does get to face Argentina, who bet Ireland. In their semi-final match they will be playing Argentina in the final so hopefully it is the All Blacks but we'll have to wait and see let's get right into it the semi-final of the world championship has seen some hard fought matches over the years and this contest will be no different both teams will be looking to play above and beyond what is required of them in order to get a chance in the coveted world title the winner of this match right this is a huge match and I have to say, I am very excited for it. Both teams relatively strong here. We've made one change to our starting lineup, and that is that Laumapi is going to be playing 12 instead of Leonard Brown. Unfortunately, he was just dropping the ball a bit too often last time. So, Laumapi takes his place. But he is still on the bench, Leonard Brown, so he could be a super sub at the end of the game if we need him. But... Both teams have a strong bench as well. I am very excited for this one. But first, before we get into this match, we have got the Haka. The traditional Maori challenge coming up now, the Haka. And not out there. They look mean. Oh, look at those goosebumps on your neck. Tell you what, I almost did get goosebumps there. The real match is this weekend. It's been a long time since we've seen it, but it will be the All Blacks versus the Wallabies on Sunday, and I'm very excited for that match. Richie Moanga was the one kicking off. Oh, and a number six up the middle. He's still going. Moanga has intercepted that, though. But I think the Wallabies know we have kept that ball. Lulala playing halfback. Goes to Savia. Goes out to Sevu Reese, who's got a bit of toe. Does a step. Can he offloads the good cue? Who's. No, no, no. Pick that up. Moody, put that down. Yeah. And we have got the first try of the match. In a weird start to the semi final. What happened there? I think I got a bit too excited. And I dive just that tad too early. Lulala to Savi out to Sevu Reese. Who does a step. I think he may have been able to make it, but he offloads to Goodhue. Who dives and the ball comes free because he wasn't over the line. And Joe Moody puts it down. This was a lovely offload from Sevu Reese. Goodhue just couldn't quite remember where the line was. But Moody did. And we have scored the opening try. And we've got points on the board. That's all that matters in this semi-final match. Can Mawanga make it more? Oh, no, he can't. I've completely choked there. And he's got it a whole 10 metres. And unfortunately, that will mean that we are still only 5-0 up over the Wallabies here. Weird start to the game. That's what I call it. That kick was just a bit of nerves, I think. But that, that try... It was, it was one of the more interesting ones we've had of this World Cup, I'll be honest. Savia takes that well, though. What way was the wind going? It is going that way, so Aaron Smith puts it on the boot. Has it cleared Beal? Yes, it has. It's a good kick in behind. An ugly bouncing one. Great tackle from George Bridge. Joe Powell fires it out to Reese Hodge, who fires it to Michael Hooper. They're using their backs here, Australia. Hodge wanted to kick that. Hardy Savia has jumped on it. 
Sam Kane out to Goodhue. One more to Lel Marpe. No, it wasn't. It was intercepted in the number five for the Wallabies. Was making a storming run up the middle of the field. The game has just gotten slightly blurry. I'm not sure why. I feel like I'm standing watching it through a barbecue. Joe Moody to retell it. Goes to Lalala. One more to Jack. Good you. And this time, surely he can't make the mistake. He has put the ball down inside of the in goal area where the points are scored. And the All Blacks score the second try of this match. Jack Goodhue with a great try. Good steal from none other than Joe Moody to Ritalik Lulala. And then it goes out to Goodhue, who had three Wallabies chasing him, but he was fast enough, fortunately. And the All Blacks now have got a 10-point lead at this stage, but I could make it 12 if I don't mess up this kick, which hopefully I won't. But Jack Goodhue should have had two when you think about it, but he has got his first of the semi-final match. Richie Moanga. They are saying he should get it, but I did mess it up last time. Oh, that one wasn't flash either, but it is still going to go over. Yes, it is. And the score now, after 18 minutes, is 12-0 to the All Blacks. Great start to the match for them. The Wallabies have had a couple good moments, but they haven't really had an amazing attacking move yet. That could score them some points. Joe Moody once again takes that. Has put the fend in. Have we kept that ball? Yes, we have. They haven't got a fullback either. And the wind is going sideways. Aaron Smith puts it on the boot. George Bridges chasing hard. George Bridges lined that one up. He's taken it. He wasn't able to offload though. But well taken from George Bridge. Smith goes out to Laomapi. Goes out to Sevi Reese, who has hit hard in the tackle. Looking to recycle the ball. They are suffering Tell you what. They just need to start Lulala puts the little grubber in behind the big man. Oh, that's a great move from the All Blacks. And now it will be a five metre scrum. All Blacks feed. This is certainly looking like try time here. Adi Savi are off the back. Is hit hard though, and Michael Hooper with a very good rip away, but Moanga takes it back, goes to Lamape, who oh my God, goes back to Hodge, I'm not going to be able to keep up. That's a good offload, Joe Powell puts it downfield, Bowden Barrett takes it well though. Oops, oh that's dirty. I'm sure he didn't mean that, did you see it? <laughs> he tried to take his head off. Reese Hodge. Is getting sent off for 10 minutes. That's a hit to the Wallabies back line. Do I kick for goal? I'm a bit dodgy with the kicks today. But I'm going to try it. We are a long way out which is never good for me. Oh, tell you what. If there was a time to get it right it was then. We are now going to have a 15 point lead over the Wallabies. Moanga wasn't sure it was going to go over with the way he's been kicking the other one. Very happy about it. But Australia down to 14 men. And they are down 15 points at the moment. Makes the restart. It's a good short kick, but Moody once again. He's having a great game so far, Joe Moody. Aaron Smith is going to kick it crossway. Oh, he has been hit early. So didn't get a lot of distance on that kick. Caleb hey, Petty picks it up. Joe Powell. Driven backwards from Lao Mape, rips it away. Tell you what, the All Blacks are playing like they want to win this match out to Goodhue. And it's just a bit too easy. They didn't have all of their men on the field and the All Blacks once again score. Jack Goodhue has got a second. Would have been the hat trick, but we don't really want to mention the first one. Joe Powell hit hard by Lao Mape. Who rips the ball away. Goes out to Shannon Frizzell who fires a lovely long pass out to Goodhue. And the All Blacks scoring once again. And tell you what. That could already be the game. We are running away with this match at the moment. Frizzell with a lovely pass. Goodhue. 
too fast. And the Wallabies, unfortunately, with Reese Hodge off, they just didn't have the numbers. Richie Moanga to kick this once again. I think he has got that one. I think I've come right in the kicking department. And just like that, the score now 22 0 after 37 minutes. Tell you what, I have come into this game in some extreme form. And it's looking like if it continues this way, it's going to be the highest scoring match that I've had for this World Cup. Frizzell takes that one well. Aaron Smith with the kick. He's found a bit of space in behind the Wallabies defence. Haylip Petty has done a forward pass, so that is half time. Slightly lucky for the Wallabies there. They were under a lot of pressure. But the possession 64%, territory 77. They've actually had more line breaks than us. But we haven't made a single handling error. Apparently. I'm pretty sure we have though. But they have also got that yellow card. So Reese Hodge off the field. But he is back now for the second half. And that will help the Wallabies a lot. He's gone short. Cody Taylor wants that one. He's taken it well. But tackled by Reese Hodge. It's been ripped away straight away. Tupo goes out to their number 12. Oh, Barrett with a good tackle and he's been put into touch. Now that will be the first line out of this match now. What was I doing there? Well, I know what I was doing there. I was thinking, I'm going to try going to the back of the line out this time. But I forgot about that bar that you got to like time. And I was that concentrated on pressing B that I forgot completely about that. That was a bit of a mistake. Hopefully it doesn't cost us though. They are going set play here. It's a nice little play from the Wallabies, but Brody Ritalik shuts that down. I can hear the faint sound of someone rattling coins for some reason. Someone in the crown. Crown? Someone in the crowd, it sounds. Can you hear that? It sounds like a train, like someone's driving their train past the stadium. I'm not sure why it's making that noise, but I guess I'll just have to go for it. Kirtley Bell with a big kick back downfield. It's a good one too. Ritalik has turned round. No one wants to tackle him. He's a big man, Brody Ritalik. He's hard to put down. Right, what do we do here? Aaron Smith out to Moanga. One more to Sevi Reese, who was actually by himself and is hit very hard by Haylet Petty. Good you. Out to Bowden Barrett. One more to George Bridge with the offload. It was supposed to go to Joe Moody. Aaron Smith has picked it up, though. Little offload on the inside, but it has found Tom Banks, unfortunately. They're just getting a bit too fancy there, I think. Although I do notice ever since I mentioned about scoring the most points that I ever have, I haven't actually scored any points. But this is a good chance here. Jack Goodyear and Sevi Reese both chasing hard. Tell you what, what a beautifully weighted kick. That was a forward pass, one metre out from the line. From Hale at Petty to Kirtley Beal. So now we have got them under a lot of pressure here. There's some definite power going on in the scrums and a good battle going on here. He's broken Savia off the, off the back, goes to Goodhue. Quick hands to George Bridge who steps on the inside accidentally but Shannon Frizzell has scored. I almost messed that one up. I thought I was going to need the step when I didn't but Shannon Frizzell, the team are very happy because they know that it is a for sure fact that they will be going to face Argentina in the final now. Savia off the back of the scrum. Goes out to Goodhue. One more to George Bridge. But we are focused on Goodhue here. Even though he didn't have anything to do with the finishing of that try. 
Hopefully we work out what was happening. Savia though, off the back. Goes to Goodhue, out to George Bridge. Who did a little step on the inside. Fancy little offload. And Shannon Frizzell scores. Brady Retallick was waving to someone there. Right. I have managed to get that kick right. So the highest score we got was 35-0. And that was against, I believe, Namibia, if I'm not wrong. So if we can get another converted try, it will be the highest score that I've gotten in this World Cup. Hodge kicks short once again. Frizzell takes it well once again, though. Our forwards were very slow getting there. Has Sevi Reese got kicking ability? I'm going to grubber this. Sevi Reese with a little grubber in behind. No. A little bit slow that. Look close to four. Joe Moody absolutely smashes Michael Hooper there. Joe Powell has a run, but is tackled. 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 Can't quite say it. Too excited. Sevi Reese made the tackle about a minute ago, was what I was trying to say. Joe Moody with another tackle. Retallick unable to rip that ball away. I thought it was his. Hoop around the side is tackled low by Smith. The Wallabies don't want to give us the ball. They know that if we get a converted try, not only is there World Cup over, but it will be the highest score. Great tackle from Aaron Smith. Oh, they might be able to score here, the Wallabies. Aaron Smith, though, once again. Making another tackle. He's made many of them this match. The Wallabies hanging on to the ball here. Not willing to give it up. Unfortunately, they are looking like they are going to have this ball until the 80 minutes, unless something changes very soon. But I don't think it's going to. We must be up to about the 15th phase for Australia here. That's a good tackle though. Is it enough to get us the ball right? We've got one last attacking opportunity for a chance at getting the most points on the board that we have. Retallick goes to Sam Kane. It was forward. That was very anticlimactic. <laughs> that, that went a lot, a lot worse than I thought it would. That is the full-time siren. We need to win this scrum here. But it was a good push from the Wallabies. Now the question is, are they just going to kick it out? What is their plan here? Sam Kane with the tackle. We want to get this ball back. That looked close to forward, but it was all right. Have we got that ball back? Yes, we have. Right. I'm going to say it again. This is our chance. Oh, we've got numbers this way too. Cody Taylor goes to Joe Moody. Out to good Hugh once again does a forward pass. And unfortunately, that means that is the end of the match. I didn't want it to end. It was going so well. But it does mean that the All Blacks are going to the final of the World Cup to play Argentina. The Wallabies will have the third and fourth playoff game against Ireland will be their opponents for that one. And that will also be a good game. I wish I could watch it. But unfortunately, it just simulates it. We scored four tries. Moody, Frizzell, and Goodhue got two. Moanga converted three of four and then also got the penalty goal. Australia unable to score any points in this match. Possession, they took it back in the second half. Handling errors, we took it back in the second half with six. But in the end, the All Blacks, too dominant for the Wallabies. And we are through to the final. Oh, okay. So Ireland managing to beat Australia in that third and fourth playoff game. 25-22. So Australia finished fourth and Ireland finished third. And now the game that will decide who will be the Rugby World Cup champions. But that's the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next match for the final against Argentina. See you later.